Do you know what the acronyms ANSI, NFPA, and NIOSH stand for? If not, don't sweat it, because we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> If you've been in the automotive industry for any number of years, you know about OSHA. But you're probably less familiar with ANSI, NFPA, and NIOSH, organizations OSHA partners with that issue voluntary consensus standards. When you put on your PPE in the shop, whether it's protective eyewear, footwear, or headgear, you've probably seen the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI symbol. ANSI oversees standards and conformity assessment activities in the United States. An example is eye protection. OSHA says that protective eye and face protection devices must comply with various ANSI standards. Another organization you may have heard of is the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA. The global self-funded nonprofit organization established in 1896 is devoted to eliminating death, injury, property, and economic loss due to fire, electrical, and related hazards. How do OSHA and NFPA work together? And how does this apply to your business? An obvious area is fire protection. Also, if you work around electricity in the shop, and all employees do, you know about the NFPA. OSHA's electrical safety requirements reference NFPA 70E, the standard for electrical safety in the workplace, which helps businesses and employees avoid workplace injuries and fatalities related to shock, electrocution, arc flash, and arc blast. Have you heard of the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, or NIOSH? NIOSH was established as part of the OSH Act of 1970 and as part of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. Its mandate is to assure every man and woman in the nation safe and healthful working conditions and to preserve our human resources. NIOSH conducts research to reduce worker illness and injury and to advance worker well-being. One way they do this is by tracking work-related hazards, exposures, illnesses, and injuries for prevention. Another goal is to enhance worker safety and health, and the agency does this by providing workplace illness and injury reduction strategies. Another way you may hear about NIOSH in the shop is in the area of respirators. In OSHA CFR 1910.134 Respiratory Protection General Requirements, the standard says the employer shall select a NIOSH certified respirator. Your respirators should have a NIOSH certification symbol. Like other governing and regulatory bodies, NIOSH has standards, requirements, and tests that products, product lines, manufacturers, and manufacturer quality control systems must meet for approval. So now you know there are many organizations out there that can help you provide a safer workplace or strengthen your safety plans. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.